friends welcome to lr virtual classroom as we saw in the previous section about getting the data is the first step in power bi which you do while getting the data you have lot of methods like importing or direct query or establishing a live connection while you import the data there are reasons you have various errors that comes in let's see what are the factors for these errors along with the resolution Yes the first important point is when you try to import from various data sources there is a possibility that you have a data import error second thing is each data source might have lot of errors within it which may trigger the data import altogether third one can be a common in terms of network issues or os system issues which will trigger a data import error at times the fourth one is the most common where your data is not complying to any specific schema what is schema then in a relational database term schema defines the way how your data is in terms of table fields relationship views indexes database links directories etc it it tells you how your data is structured as we have seen about the reasons for data import errors let's see the resolution for the common ones that you face the first one being the query timeout error when you are log in your gmail when you be idle for some time after few minutes you would have seen that the gmail has been automatically sign out and you have to again sign in this is like a query timeout a typical example you can face in your personal life as well so when you establish a connection with a relational database say sql you may have query timeout set by the administrators of those database why they said this because you are trying to get a data about the organization and beyond the policy you are trying to import more amount of data at a time so they set out a query timeout which may range from 5 seconds to 30 minutes once you not establish a connection to your database beyond this time then you will have a query timeout expired error how we can solve it yes by pulling the fewer columns and rows from a single table by writing a sql by including a common techniques like groupings and aggregations which you have while writing your sql statement next important point how you can resolve is you can join multiple tables in a single sql statement at last you can also perform complicated sub queries and nested queries in a single statement Query timeout usually happens when you are trying to establish a direct connection to the database, especially your MySQL and other databases. The second most common error is could not find the file. Yes, for example, the source of the file has been changed, name of the file has been changed, or the file has been deleted. Then you find this error could not find the file. It's very easy. Go to the data source settings, change the source of the file, then automatically this error will be resolved. As you can see in my desk, I have a file which has been misplaced. So I have to rectify this error. I can go to the data source settings. I have the file here. I have the change source where I can go and upload the file where the location is. I'm gonna browse. This is a file which has been renamed. I'm going to select the file. I'm going to click on OK. I'm also close it. Once I close, the data error has been removed and my table is refreshed. In this way, you can sort out the could not find error. The third type of error is we could not find any data formatted as a table. This error occurs occasionally when you are trying to import the data from Microsoft Excel. Not necessary that your data should be in a table format, but when you get this error occasionally, you can simply press Control T in your keyboard, which will automatically create a table of your data. Here I have a Excel file which has my data. I can place my cursor anywhere in the cell and press Control T. Automatically, the tape the data has been selected with my table as a headers. I'm gonna click on OK. The range has been converted into a table. Now, when I try to import this data, I will not have any error. The next step we're gonna see about is step level errors. 
maybe the import is successful but when you try to do some transformations your query will not load completely and you can solve this by going to the error say for example here it shows a particular column isn't found so this is kind of an error when your data is not aligned to a specific schema some errors of steps have been missed out in your query the last type of error is value level error. It means that your data is imported, it's all loaded, but something is not aligned in your in your value. That the date format is not proper. Uh, the, something is wrong with your value in your database, which will trigger the error and where you'll not be able to perform any queries or transformation of your data. To solve these kind of errors, you can just click on the hyperlink, which will tell you what the error is and you can correct the necessary steps what it needs to be done. As we've seen about all the five different types of errors with the resolution that happens while you import your data, in my up upcoming section, you can see how to fix performance issues, how to clean and transform your data, profiling your data, combining multiple tables into a single table, and what are the difference between fact tables and dimension tables and many more to come.